like to use a secondary cut. The reason for this is it helps to keep the sale cost of the dish down. But the main reason for this is because it gives me an opportunity to be creative and it adds different textures and a more robust flavour profile. Okay, so here we have the uh, secondary cut, which is the uh, lamb shoulder. So the first thing, um, the first thing you need to do is obviously decide on how you want to to process your your lamb in terms of like uh, what product you're making. That's entirely up to you. Once again, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you uh, an example of how I will trim it. So once again, there's a little bit of bark, what we call bark, on the outside of the lamb, which is that tough outer layer. I'm just going to trim that away. Because of the nature of the secondary cut, I'm not going to trim away um, too much of the fat. I actually want to keep some of that fat on there because it's going to help with the moisture um, content later on. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to trim the, uh, we'll cl clean the meat down. So basically I'm going to look, make sure there's no glands in the meat, just in case they've been missed which I can't, don't appear to be. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just um, cut the meat down, just getting rid of any, like say any of that um, bark, not necessarily the fat as such, just the, the tougher parts. And it's just going to get, I'm just going to cook it in a pressure cooker, but the key to this is making sure that the meat is all roughly the same size, so it all cooks reasonably even. And I am leaving a certain amount of fat on the meat. I'm just getting rid of any like any like excess, any bloody bits. Okay, once it's at this stage, I'm just going to colour it in the pan, and it's going to go onto my pressure cooker. Okay, so I'm just sealing this lamb in a pan. One of the things that we're looking for is that the control of cookery is correct. It's all about controlling the temperature of the pan. Also be careful not to overcrowd the pan, otherwise you're not going to get a nice caramelization on the outside of the lamb. You can see that the colour of the lamb is a nice light brown at the moment, so the pan is not too hot. It's all about controlling the temperature of the pan so that as the meat seals, when the moisture comes out of the meat, that it's not stewing the meat because what I want to do is brown the meat up to get some good caramelisation to develop some flavour. And once that is coloured up nicely, it's into the pressure cooker. You can see that it's all nicely caramelised in it and a nice golden colour, not too dark, which tells me the temperature of the pan is correct. And this is one of the things that we'll be looking for, that you've been able to control the cookery of the meat correctly. Okay, so now that um, I've sealed the lamb for the um, pressure cooker, um, how you choose to, uh, what you choose to add to that lamb is entirely up to you. So um, what we're expecting to see is uh, the lamb nice and tender, so it should be cooked um, long enough so it is tender, um, but not dry, so it should be quite still quite succulent and moist. Um, and then what you choose to do with it after that is entirely up to you, so there's lots and lots of options off it, and, and I'm not saying that you have to pressure cook it either, this is just the application that I've traded to it for the purpose of the demo. Okay, so once you've chosen your um, desired um, techniques for the cookery of your prime and secondary cuts. Um, really what we're looking for is the, the execution of those um, those pieces. For the secondary cut, depending once again on your, your application or what your, what your um, intention is with the finished product, um, would be for it to be nice and tender, again, um, succulent, not, not stringy, um, and that really depends on how you choose to process that you should have a good understanding of um, breaking down those muscles. Uh, so hopefully the, the tips that I've given you today are, are helpful. Um, best of luck with your preparation leading into the event and um, good luck on the day.